The Assumption Royal girls basketball team is headed back to state for the second year in a row. We had the opportunity to talk to seniors Kayla Kirkman, Izzy Youngworth, and Sadie Donahue. Like, it was a huge stage. It's the biggest stage in high school, girls basketball. So I think just, like, not getting psyched out by how many people are going to be there, all the cameras and stuff, since we know what to expect, that's going to help us. Um, I think we have a lot of experience with the team. I know the juniors and seniors were pretty tight, and I think we can really come together kind of knowing what to expect. Um, and then just talk about the, the big space. You played in the big space on Thursday night uh, over in Marshfield. So what did you learn from, from that kind of big space, uh, you know, different scenery behind the, behind the baskets, all that kind of stuff? Well, you definitely have to communicate a lot better. It's really hard to hear out on the court. So being able to communicate and know what everybody else is doing. And then the, the, the tone of practice this week, what, uh, what's got to be different because uh, each level of the playoffs you go, it's a level up. So what's got to be different this week? I think we really just need to focus up and remember what we're playing for, like how high the stakes are, because it's not just, we're not just coming to the gym to shoot around, like we're doing it for a goal. So focus is going to be really big for us. We also had the opportunity to talk to Merrillwood Co-Player of the Year, Ayanara Sanzerosas. Oh, I think so. I think it's... Uh... If uh, forward teams, I think it's hard to guard us because you, you know you never really know who's gonna step up for the team. So I think that's something good uh, for us, and it's just it's good. It's a good team effort. Well, I'm glad I get to like uh, be a good leader. I hope I'm a good leader for them, for the new, for the freshmen, sophomores, and uh, I'm. They, even though I'm like a senior, they still teach me some stuff and they like try to help me with some stuff, so that's good because I'm, I guess I'm, it's only like my second year here, well, third year, second varsity, so it's just, I'm kind of new too, so it's, we all help each other, so it's fun. I, I think so, we are pretty humble because, you know, it's, it's, it's state, like you never know what's going to happen, and so we just need to, our mentalities right now are not like, you know, we won last year, we're going to win again. No, we are pretty humble, I think. Yeah. And Assumption Girls head coach Ryan Klein. Uh, well, I think last year's team, we did have a group of girls that, uh, even though we didn't have a coherent squad that played since they were knee high to a grasshopper, we had some girls that have been playing ball together for a long time. And uh, this one is just such a diverse mix that uh, uh, it's really cool how to. Uh, different groups of girls that you see on the floor and uh, it's a tough one to figure out all the different combinations of players um, there's too many for me to count so uh, uh, that's made it a lot more entertaining uh, to watch I think last year uh, we had basically that same group and you know you could really get behind those girls now there's that constant uh, uncertainty of where are you going to get the where are you going to get the contribution so uh, it makes it a little unsettling for both the coaches and the fans um, but it also makes it exciting. So um, a lot of great girls that are super supportive of one another, and uh, that helps the process. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough to tell how kids are going to react to um, the situation. Um, I think for us, we put our faith in God and are happy that we're able to play a game and have some fun. Um, and they've got priorities in their life that are a little bigger than basketball so I think that helps a lot with just the girls and the way they approach the game and support one another and are um, I don't, I don't want to say they'd be happy with any outcome but uh, they know this isn't the end of their uh, their lives you know this is not the be all and end all this is just a game and we're uh, out there having fun and blessed to have the opportunity. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, I spent a lot of time at the Rest Center um, when Coach Burkhauser had the reins. I was able to really enjoy myself as an assistant and uh, to be a head coach back there in a familiar territory. Uh, it's going to be interesting to, uh, you know, kind of see how things have changed there. But then uh, the familiar atmosphere for me, I think, is going to be a lot of fun too. Don't forget Friday morning, the Assumption Royals take on McDonald's Central. At about 11 o'clock, we'll have an audio-only broadcast for you live and free at ZaleskiSports.com.